It's no secret modern men have become shells of their forebearers. Increased comfort through technological advancements has severed men's connection to primal masculine roots. Feminist propaganda have shamed many into relinquishing the fundamental tenets of masculinity, exchanging them for softer, woke qualities. Let us remind ourselves about what it means to be a man through analyzing Julius Caesar, the legendary Roman conqueror. Have supreme confidence. When Caesar was 25 years old, he sailed the Aegean Sea and was captured by a band of pirates. The pirates wanted to ransom Caesar for a sum of 20 talents of silver, approximately 620 kilograms or $450,000 worth of silver in today's value. Caesar laughed at the sum and suggested they charge 50 talents, more than double what they were asking, which he believed was more fitting for someone of his stature. The pirates agreed, and Caesar sent one of his entourage to collect the silver. During his capture, Caesar maintained his composure and refused to behave like a captive. He demanded they be silent before going to sleep. To pass the time, he practiced his speeches and poems in front of them, and even joined them in their games. Despite the fun, Caesar would periodically remind the pirates of their impending deaths once the ransom had been paid. After 38 days at sea, the silver was delivered and the pirates released Caesar. At the time, Caesar was a private citizen from a well-connected family, but he did not hold a military office. He somehow managed to gather a small army and led them to execute the pirates. Clearly, the pirates should have taken his threat seriously. Caesar was able to navigate himself out of the tricky situation because of his supreme confidence. When a man truly believes in himself and stands behind his word, the world bows before him. Why men need confidence? The vast majority of people are followers who are ready to be led by a charismatic leader. Many people are influenced by cults, religious leaders, influencers, and governments into doing things that are against their interests because of their low self-esteem. They submit their will to those with a more potent life energy. The person with a more confidence typically dictates the direction of their interactions. If you want to have influence in this world, you need to work on your self-worth. Your small victories will give you more confidence to pursue bigger tasks. Work on first exercising three times a week before you dominate the bodybuilding competition. Gather your first few sales before your business makes its first million and then billion. As Lao Tzu said, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Confidence comes from taking consistent action and showing yourself that you are worthy of great things. With time, you coordinate your affairs as effortlessly as Caesar. Become a strategic thinker. Caesar was known for being a strategic mastermind, not only on the battlefield, but in the political realm of the Senate. One of his most notable power moves was forming what would be called the First Triumvirate of Rome. The Triumvirate was a secret, informal alliance between him and two other prominent politicians, Pompey and Crassus. Rome at the time had a complex set of checks and balances to ensure that no single man would rise above others and become a dictator. Instead of battling with Crassus and Pompey, Caesar knew it would be more beneficial to work with them. Crassus had the money, Pompey had the military, and Caesar the influence. As a single force, they were able to dominate Roman politics and promote their agenda for over a decade. Another example of his strategic win-win thinking occurred late in Caesar's life while stuck in Egypt. To escape and return to Rome, he formed a romantic relationship with Cleopatra and helped her win a civil war against her brother. The pattern in Caesar's life is one of a strategic master. This is a skill every man should develop. Instead of seeing things in terms of self-benefit, 
it's always prudent to look for mutually beneficial exchanges. Why man needs strategic thinking? To be a strategic thinker, you do not have to manipulate people or break the law like Caesar. You just need to learn the art of seeing three moves ahead. Success in life depends on the number of good decisions you make. Each right decision brings you closer to your goals, while each bad decision makes you move backwards. The summation of each strategic bet paints the picture of your current reality. Avoid the decisions which could wipe you out. Some examples of incredibly bad bets are marrying and having children with the wrong partner, drinking whilst driving, getting addicted to drugs, staying in an unfulfilling job. There are also many good decisions powerful enough to change the trajectory of your life, developing the next billion dollar app, choosing a fulfilling career, getting into a relationship with the perfect partner, moving to a new country. The key is to be a student of the game of life. A good student regularly studies the art of making smart bets. Take bold actions. Caesar was well known as a conqueror, with his most notable conquests occurring during the Gallic Wars. In the wars, Caesar defeated around 300 tribes and destroyed 800 cities. He also invaded Britain just for shits and giggles. Caesar dominated and expanded the control of Rome for eight years in a supreme showcase of military finesse. After his crusades, he was called back to Rome to answer to the Senate for subordination and treason. The Roman people loved what Caesar had done, but the Senate saw him as a threat which needed to be neutralized and extinguished. Caesar was meant to return as a private citizen to face his trials. But instead, he crossed the river Rubicon with a legion of loyal men. The Rubicon signified the border between Gaul and Italy, and crossing it with an army was a capital offense, seen as an act of war. This was the first step that started a civil war in Rome between Caesar and Pompey, which he would ultimately win. The phrase crossing the Rubicon has now come to mean committing to an action without the option of getting out. It's similar to burning the bridges or burning your boats. These axioms hint at the importance of having a strong intention in your actions as a man. Why men need to take bold action. Many men feel they deserve more in life. These same men are afraid to commit to actions needed to create that desired outcome. Instead of getting the courage to explain to their boss why they deserve a promotion, most men would rather stay in the shadows, allowing resentment to boil in their blood. Instead of taking the leap and starting their dream business, most men would rather entertain the idea in their imagination where it's nice, cozy, and safe. The fear of failure paralyzes men. Instead of playing to win, they play to not lose. Instead of approaching the beautiful girl at the coffee shop, the modern man is content with having a digital girlfriend on Fortnite or in the metaverse. All great men must overcome their fears and go after what they want, even when it seems like the whole world is against them. Before crossing the Rubicon, Caesar said that die has been cast. This signified his commitment to the action and his surrender of the outcome. Commit yourself to your goals fully and let fate take care of the rest. It's much better to fail than face the regret of never having tried. Avoid ego. At the peak of his triumphs, after defeating Pompey and conquering Egypt, Caesar returned to Rome. He was announced dictator of Rome. The top position in Rome meant to last for only 10 years. Caesar made some drastic changes in Rome bringing forth new laws and hosting expensive and lavish games, all while ignoring much of the pesky Senate's advice. He would later declare himself dictator perpetuo, meaning dictator forever. This situation is akin to a president declaring a permanent indisputable role while rejecting the laws permitting only two terms. The idea of one man leading Rome forever went against everything for which the Romans stood. 
He was shortly assassinated less than two months later on the Ides of March by a group of senators, his very own people. The assassination was led by his much respected and loved friend Brutus, who he saw as a brother. The fall of Caesar is the stuff of legends, and it was caused by excessive ego. He let success get to his head and forgot many of the lessons which had created his prior success. The Greeks used to say, hubris leads to nemesis, and the pattern can be seen by many dictators and successful men in history. Why men must avoid ego. When a man starts believing himself as the exception to universal rules and sees other men as below him, his downfall is already sealed. Ego is excessive self-importance and must not be mistaken for confidence. Confidence is based on reality, whilst ego is the creation of mental delusions. Do not be afraid to reach for the stars, but always keep your ego in check. What is the thing which most often destroys great men? The best way to avoid falling for the ego trap is to surround yourself with other great men who can humble you and supply a different perspective. Too many men surround themselves with yes men who simply parrot their own thoughts. Self-mastery can come to only those willing to get uncomfortable, those who explore opposing perspectives. Humility can be increased through regular meditation and periods of self-reflection. The siren called ego has destroyed many great men, but it won't be the end of you. Do this and I promise you'll be one step closer to living and dying well. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell notifications so we can see more of each other. Until next time.